Hey everyone, what's going on? So we're doing the Giratina Escalation Battle and I'm actually only going up to stage 50 and the reason for that is because this escalation is glitched and um, I'll talk about that more as as we get to those stages but basically stages from 51 to 60 are all boss stages and this it's basically stage 100 and stage 100 is not a boss so you have to battle 10 boss stages unless you get like a skip or whatnot and then stage 200 has over 200,000 HP uh, for whatever crazy reason so who knows Whatever, I don't know why, it was just a mistake, I guess. They're not going to fix it because they didn't even fix the Volcanian Escalation. So, I'm just uh, basically showing you a little bit. I may go up to 100 just to pick up the skill swapper because I can beat the boss stages itemless, even though they are technically boss stages. But, um, yeah, anyway, stage 1, we easily beat that. Stage 5, just showing you the basic rewards on some of these. Um, yeah, this... Another reason I don't really want to go find this escalation is because there's no good rewards. I mean, they give you a total of four raise max levels, which is not bad, I guess, but usually we're used to like anywhere from like eight to 15 or 16 raise max levels. So, um, I, I just didn't feel like it's a bunch of experience, but it's like mostly experience because are small and medium. I just didn't feel like it was worth it. Um, but yeah, I would say if anything, the skill swapper, but it's probably not even worth that just because of, the glitch from 51 to 60 with the, all those boss stages. Uh, another thing is, uh, some people were asking, what do you think is better, power for and blind or blindside? And definitely blindside. But the thing is, we have plenty of awesome ghost types that it might be difficult to find a use for blindside on your team. I mean, maybe you can if you don't have some of these more powerful uh ghost pokemon then you could definitely use it so it's it's certainly not bad i did skill swap mine and i do like it the reason i like it is because on weekend meowth you can go in with like mega Bennett with mega boost plus plus and then shiny gengar and um giratina and i feel like uh you would get a lot i'm actually going to try that this weekend so I, I feel like you could get a lot of coins that way so and plus i had uh, you know I had like 15 uh, skill swappers, so I didn't have a problem doing it, but if you're low on skill swap, it's, it's totally not worth it. It's an ability you could pass on. Um, yeah, so anyway, we do go ahead and beat, what is it, stage 10? I think it is. Uh, we do go ahead and easily beat it. Beat it. Yes, yeah, starting off really easy. Nothing difficult, just going in with Shiny Mega Gengar just for fun. Uh, give a Tina Mimic you, you know, you know, basically trying to give some experience to some of these Pokemon that might need it. Uh, yeah, so we do pick up the moves plus five on that one, so eh, it's all right, but it's not like a mega speed up or whatnot. But uh, anyway, moving on, we have stage 50, and I am going in with Mega Bennett, Drift Blim, Trevenant, and Giratina. Um, I think I went in with the wrong Giratina, did I? No, I went in with the right one. Okay, so um, I just, I don't know why I bought Giratina, I just decided to. Um, but, uh, yeah, Driflum obviously helping out, uh, Trevenant obviously helping out. Uh, this one's definitely gonna be tough if you don't have at least one of these super effective shot out uses. But if you have one, uh, you can handle this stage just fine. Uh, you should be able to handle it. Uh, even if you have, like, a neutral shot out user. Yo, what am I talking about? It doesn't have to be super effective. It could be neutral. This one does not have a lot of HP to it. Um, you could go in with, like, Mega Deontay and should be able to handle this one. I mean, this one is not a that difficult, I didn't think so. Uh, yeah. You do get one mega speed up for that, so that's not bad if you need mega speed ups, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I, I we do go ahead and we do clear out stage fifty and two personalized skill boosters, which is again, you know, not bad. So we'll definitely take it. We'll definitely take it. And I just wanted to. Oh yeah, here's the mega speed up. So I just wanted to show you the the uh, bug or the glitch, whatever you want to call it, uh, on stage uh, 51. So as I said, 51 to 60, you can still get skips. So you could skip over several of the boss stages if you get lucky, I guess. But uh, if you don't have the Dusk Nor or the Litwick, these stages are going to be so tough. You could definitely do them without them. I didn't need Litwick in this attempt, but you could definitely do them without them. Uh, but it is going to be tough. It is going to be difficult. And if I didn't have them, I wouldn't do it. Um, you know, I wouldn't go for that skill swapper, but if you have them, you could definitely go for the skill swapper, but, uh, yeah, it, but without them, definitely stop at at least 50. That, that's my advice. That's the best advice I could give you. Um, yes, yeah, definitely a really annoying, uh, stage, uh, not annoying stage, I guess, but it's annoying in the fact that it's a boss stage when it's not supposed to be on the flip side, stage 100 is not a boss stage, but it's like you have to play 10 boss stages 
in exchange for one non-boost stage, if that makes sense. I mean, it's obviously not worth it. So, um, you know, it doesn't benefit us, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I wasn't planning on going that far in this escalation anyway, just because, as I said, the rewards are kind of lackluster. They're not really great, great. Uh, so it's it's nothing that you really have to to be concerned of. But on these stages, it, the the added support is shaman. I was trying to put it to sleep. I even got a five match and did not put it to sleep. Can you not put ghost types to sleep? Maybe you can't. Um, and maybe I'm just a bad player. Who knows? But if you can't, definitely made up uh, messed up when I tried putting it to sleep at, at times. But again, it doesn't matter because we were still able to beat it. And I just wanted to show you the stage. Even if I lost this one, I would have like played the stage again. So it, it like it wasn't a big deal, but. Yeah, who wants to go through 10 board stages? At least it wasn't, you know, from like stage, you know, 200 to 210 or something with, with stage 200's board stage. That would have been a lot worse. Totally not worth it. But yeah, as I said though, stage 200 has like two, over 200,000 HP. So it's, it's definitely glitched as well. It's not supposed to have that much HP and then they're, they're totally not going to fix it because as I said, they didn't fix, uh, Volcanian. So they're not going to with this one, unfortunately. You know, they're probably done with Shuffle. Uh, they're just going to let the, the events run run their course. So who knows what other glitches we'll find as we um, get into more events. You know, who knows? Maybe Salazzle next week won't even drop personalized skill boosters. I know that would be disappointing for a lot of people. Um, we don't know. We don't know. But, you know, I always try to be optimistic. So the good news is I love playing this game. So, yeah, why not? Um... As you saw, we just got the five match of Shaman and missed it. So, um, you know, maybe Sleep Charm doesn't work in Ghost. Who knows? You know, but whatever. Not a big deal. So that is going to finish it off. As I said, not needing Litwick. Uh, but it's still good to have because I could see you, you know, needing Litwick or needing Dust Nor. So, um, yeah, definitely not fun that you have to play multiple boss stages if you want to advance. So, and that is stage 51. And expect that from 51 to 60. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.